So, um, it was pointed out to me that maybe I need to, instead of testing the entire transmission cooler <clears throat> cooler lines in uh, in the system as an entire unit, uh, maybe I should break it down, test each part, see which one is causing a restriction for this uh, transmission high cooler pressure issue that I'm having. I was able, I didn't record it, but I was able to get flow through the entire system with my old transmission cooler, but it was uh, running around 130 pounds of pressure to do it. So what I've done is I will be um, taking the parts apart and flowing them individually. So let me show you what I got. So here I have the new transmission cooler that I got for Rocky Mountain Race Week. Um, it's a Doral, Darily, or whatever cooler uh, fan combo. I took the fan off. Um, you can see it's got large lines in it. The old cooler that I had forever in this thing is this unit, which I don't remember the brand, but I think it's a reasonable cooler. It's uh, always set up front um, in front of the radiator and the transmission was always like 120 degrees with the new intercooler setup i had to put the transmission cooler under the bed so i needed to add a fan to it and that's why we have the second cooler but i'm gonna redo my setup a little bit and show you what how it'll do with each part so one of the first things i've done is i've taken this is what i was <clears throat> running the entire system through this little eighth mpt fitting so that I could read a pressure and uh, I changed it over to a quarter so it should at least have a, a reasonable ID on it um, so as not to restrict flows coming straight out of the pump so I'll be taking my pressure reading from there and then um, the first thing I'm going to do is do a control test I'm just going to hook this up to the pump and dump it straight into a can run it see if it builds any pressure that way Okay, so now I've got everything together for a little control test. We'll just see if the system builds any pressure on its own. And I also added a relay to the fuel pump setup, so it's like 2% less sketchy. We'll see what this does here. I don't know if I'll be able to hold the camera and do this at the same time. Perfect, nothing. No pressure. You can see it's just flowing like mad in there and about to get all over my garage. I'm going to pull this off. Okay. So there's no pressure in that. And it is flowing like a beast. So, next step. Alright. And I've got the fresh cooler set up to test here. Hopefully things will stay together. Um, that return's not uh, clamped on, so hopefully it doesn't just blow tran this Castrol ISO 46 everywhere. So let's see what we get. Going through the trans cooler. Let's see, I'm gonna put it on this so that it'll just pull off. blowing through the air pretty good. 20 PSI. Okay. That's not the problem. And I know this was never part of the system for race week when this uh, thrust bearing went out. Uh, I'm still going to test this cooler just to have a little bit more peace of mind. So here we go. We'll see if I can do this. One handed. Pumping, pumping, pumping. have enough 
fluid in there. I'll test this again in a second. I don't know, you can see a steady stream coming out. No pressure on this cooler. So now what I have out here is I have all three of my transmission cooler lines. The, from the trans to the radiator, radiator to the external cooler, and external cooler back to the radiator. So these are all three of the lines, um, and I'm going to test them one at a time. All right, so first line test is going to be from the cooler back to the transmission. So this is the final line in the uh, series. I'm going to have to dump this little pickup down there. Make sure we get some fluid. Now this gets sketchier every time. Okay, we are pumping. Pressure climbing to 20 pounds. Got a pretty steady flow of fluid in there. Come on. Focus. 22 pounds, 25 pounds, so that doesn't seem to be an issue. Okay, next test. I believe we have the line from the transmission going to the radiator. I just kept them together since that's the way they are, but stuck them both in there just in case I got them mixed up. Hmm, interesting. That one's going about 30 pounds. Okay, so this is the last line to test. After that, I guess, uh, I don't know. I guess I'll reassemble, test the system in series again. Someone suggested maybe running the, uh, the two coolers in parallel, but I don't know how well that would work. Um... If, if the fluid in one side would just uh, stagnate or something, I don't know. <clears throat> so, here we go. Get this down in the salt. <laughs> 35, 40 pounds, and it is just running away with that fluid. So these two lines are a bit longer. Um, I don't know, are running dash eight lines a thing for transmissions? All right, so we're gonna run the whole system in series again. I've got the fuel pump going to the pressure gauge, going to the line, into the radiator, out of the radiator, into the trans cooler, and out of the trans cooler and then we'll go back to the jug. I don't expect that there will be any change in uh, from when I tested it all in the truck. We should still see 100 and something pounds. This will probably spray trans fluid everywhere and it'll be just a beautiful mess. So let's see what happens. Hundred pounds and it is flowing now. So you can see how it's flowing. Hundred pounds inlet to get through all that. Ninety-five. I don't know. I may have to see about doing dash eight lines or running it in parallel. So, gonna try the full system again. 
uh, now with the old transmission cooler in the same all in line setup. Roughly the same pressure, which tells me that the combined line distances with their size is likely the issue, not the coolers. Okay, so I have developed another sketchy test. Now I am going to check type F fluid through here to see if maybe the fluid that I'm using is an issue. So we're going to kick the fuel pump on, hope it doesn't kick this over and see what kind of pressure we're running here. Good. It drop it down to about 80 pounds, but it's fluctuating because I think it's cavitating. Oh, it's not. Yeah, coming up. So it did drop the fuel pressure, or the pressure a little bit. 